Hello everyone, I'm Ryan. Welcome to our comparison video on Beehive versus Substack versus ConvertKit. Essentially, we're going to be comparing these three popular email marketing platforms, dive deeper into their features, pros and cons, in order to help you make an informed decision for your email marketing needs. Whether you're a solo content creator, a small business owner, or a part of a larger organization, choosing the right email marketing tool is crucial for your success. And before we begin, I want to mention that if you're interested in getting started with Beehive, then below this video, you can find a link that will grant you a 30 day free trial that will allow you to test the platform using our affiliate link. These links help support our channel at no additional cost to you, allowing us to continue producing high quality content like this one. And now let's dive into the video, starting with Beehive. Beehive is a relatively new entrant in the email marketing and newsletter space. It's designed to cater to both individual creators and businesses. And the great thing about it is that it's its fresh approach and comprehensive feature set make it a strong contender in the market. The key features include an intuitive drag and drop editor, as Beehive offers a user-friendly interface that allows you to create visually appealing newsletters without any coding knowledge. This feature is particularly beneficial for those who want to focus on content creation without getting bogged down by technical details. There is also the comprehensive analytics as one of Beehive's standout features is its detailed insights into email performance. You can track open rates, click-through rates, and subscriber behavior, giving you that much of a clear picture of how your campaigns are performing and where you can improve. There is also the automation tools as Beehive includes powerful automation capabilities, allowing you to set up email sequences, welcome series, and triggered emails based on subscriber actions. This feature alone can save you time and ensure that your audience receives timely, relevant content. And lastly, I want to mention the integration with various third-party tools, as Beehive plays well with others offering integrations with social media platforms, CRM systems, and other tools that you might be using in your marketing stack. Moving on, we're going to talk about the pricing structure as Beehive offers a tiered pricing model to accommodate different needs and budgets. You've got the launch plan, which is free and great for those just starting out. You can get up to 2,500 subscribers completely with no commitment. For up to 1,000 subscribers, you've got the scale plan at $31.20. The max plan at $79.20. And the most notable feature about the max plan is that you can remove Beehive branding completely. You get access to the newsletter XP course, up to 10 publications and priority support. Also, you can opt in for any plan that you want and then choose the amount of subscribers that you would like to have in it. And lastly, there is the enterprise plan for custom pricing tailored for large scale operations with specific needs. So with its balance of user friendliness and advanced features, Beehive is an attractive option for those looking to grow and engage their audience effectively. It's particularly well suited for users who want a comprehensive tool that can scale with their needs. Moving on to Substack. This platform has gained significantly more popular among writers and journalists for its simplicity and focus on content creation. Substack's approach is all about letting writers do what they do best. Right. For the key features, you've got a straightforward writing and publishing interface as Substack provides a clean, distraction-free environment for writing. The platform's simplicity allows writers to focus on creating high-quality content without getting caught up in complex design or technical issues. There is also the built-in subscription model for monetization, as in my opinion, one of Substack's most attractive features is its seamless integration of paid subscriptions. Writers can offer both free and paid newsletters, with Substack handling all the payment processing and subscriber management. This makes it incredibly easy for writers to start monetizing their content. There are also a bunch of community building features. Substack includes tools for building a community around your content, such as comments and discussions. These features help writers engage with their audience, fostering a sense of connection and loyalty among subscribers. I also like to mention that there are discovery features, as Substack has built-in discovery features that can help writers grow their audience. The platform often promotes promising newsletters, which can lead to increased visibility and subscriber growth. As for the limitations of Substack, while it excels in simplicity, it's worth noting that it offers limited design customization options compared to the other platforms. The analytics provided, while useful, are still not as advanced as those offered by some competitors. These limitations are part of Substack's focus on simplicity, but may be a drawback for users who need more complex features. So I would say the strengths lie in its simplicity, making it ideal for writers who want to focus on creating content without getting bogged down by technical details. It is very particularly well-suited for journalists, essayists, and other long-form content creators who want to build a direct relationship with their audience. 
And last but not least, we've got ConvertKit, a platform that caters to professional creators with its advanced features and robust capabilities. For the key features, we've got Visual Automation Builder as ConvertKit offers a powerful visual automation builder that allows users to create complex email sequences and workflows based on subscriber behavior. This feature is very useful for creating sophisticated marketing funnels and nurturing campaigns. There is also the detailed tagging and segmentation capabilities as ConvertKit provides advanced tagging and segmentation tools that enable you to highly target your email campaigns as you can segment your audience based on their interests, behaviors, and interactions with your content. And this all allows for more personalized communication at scale. Another notable mention is the comprehensive analytics and reporting tools. This platform offers detailed insights into email performance, subscriber engagement, and sales. These analytics can help you refine your strategy and improve your results over time. As for the pricing structure, ConvertKit's pricing is designed to scale with your subscriber account, but also depends on which plan you opt in for. So if you sign up for the newsletter plan for creators building their audience, you do get unlimited landing pages, unlimited opt-in forms, email broadcasts, and everything that you are seeing here, but it scales up to 10,000 subscribers. But if you do need more features such as the free recommendations, paid recommendations, and removing the branding, then you can go for this plan, the creator plan, for as little as $9 per month for up to 300 subscribers. And of course, it goes up as you increase the subscriber count. So if you already have 10,000 subscribers, then this plan would be $100 per month. And finally, for the pro plan at 10,000 subscribers, it would be $140 per month. In addition to everything in the creator plan, you also get the Facebook custom audiences, newsletter referral system, etc. So the prices increase as your subscriber count grows, but so do the features and capabilities available to you. With its powerful automation and segmentation capabilities, ConvertKit is well suited for creators who require advanced features to manage and grow their audience. I would say it's mostly popular among bloggers, podcasters, and course creators who need sophisticated email marketing tools. So as we wrap up our comparison, it's important to note that each platform offers distinct advantages depending on your specific needs. Beehive provides a balanced combination of ease of use, analytics, and monetization options, making it ideal for both individuals and businesses who want a comprehensive scalable solution. Substack, on the other hand, excels in simplicity and is particularly well-suited for writers looking to monetize their newsletters through subscriptions. If your focus is on writing and want a straightforward way to reach and monetize your audience, Substack could be your best bet. And finally, ConvertKit offers a powerful automation and segmentation capabilities, catering to professional creators who require advanced features. So if you're looking to create complex marketing funnels or need detailed control over your email campaigns, this one might be the right choice for you. And with that, we'll have reached the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know whether you found today's video to be helpful and informative to watch by giving it a thumbs up. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.